Hello. If you've been following uh, my work and my thinking for the last few years, and you probably have, how could you not, you're familiar with the high value action practice. And that practice has been foundational for me to help me move, uh, to produce confidence and momentum in my business. Uh, the high value action practice, just to recap it real quickly, is the daily choice of a single high value action, something that will move you forward in your life or business. And the next piece is to declare that high value action to a, a colleague, a friend, in my case, to the Brain Trust, my mastermind group. And then the following day to report without judgment or self-criticism, simply to report in a matter-of-fact way what happened. Rinse and repeat. So it's choose, declare, report, repeat. And this has been so powerful to help me build momentum into my business. I've had a couple of my most profitable years, I think, in part due to this practice. And lately, I'm not doing it. And I'm really happy about that, and here's why. The high value action is a tremendous practice for bringing things into being in the world, for building something, for uh, creating results, for creating results. And that's what I was up to in the last few years. I was building projects, I was launching projects, I, it was all about creating outcomes producing something in the world of form. And right now in my life and business, I'm in a creative phase. I am hanging out, if you will, in more formless space where I don't know what's coming next. I am uh, looking forward with happy anticipation. You know, go ahead universe, surprise me. Uh, and I have some inklings, but the bottom line is I don't know from day to day necessarily what high value action to declare. It just, it just doesn't feel right or uh, uh, appropriate, doesn't seem that relevant. So thanks to a client of mine who coined the term inspired action, I have shifted to declaring a daily inspired action. Sometimes that looks like taking a walk. It could look like reading. It could look like taking the day off or spending time in the garden, making a phone call. Yesterday, my inspired action was to ask my friend Michael Bungay Stanier if he'd spend a few minutes with me brainstorming some next steps for a project. The quality of the inspired action is about inspiration. It's receptive. It's not active. It's not produce production oriented, at least not essentially. So now I'm building my days around inviting space for inspiration. And that's the difference. I fully expect to return to the high value action practice when I'm ready to produce outcomes in the world. And here again, just to summarize is how I see the distinction. When I want to create outcomes, in the world of form. When I want to put a form on something, create a physical product or a structured program or offer, the high value action is definitely the way to go. When I am hanging out in the formless, when I'm wanting to bring something from formless space into my awareness, into clarity, then inspired action makes more sense to me. So that's why I'm changing my practice now, and I hope that's useful to you. Take care.